about uh, what kind of uh, a boyfriend I would like and what kind of a, and he's always in this kurta pajama with one tikka on him and I'm always in these short clothes and you know strappy stuff and he's always telling me he's saying do you think I want a wife like that or you know I want a girlfriend like look at the kind of clothes you wear so this is the kind of film that you know that it's a light hearted comedy where one would just uh, kind of uh, leave all your problems behind just come and sit हाँ तो आप बता रहे थे कि योर रिलेशनशिप विद अमर या माय रिलेशन लाइक वी इन द होल फिल्म यू नो मी एंड अमर अमर इज ऑलवेज वेयरिंग दिस कुर्ता पजामा इज विथ टिक्का ऑन इज फॉर इट एंड आई एम ऑलवेज वेयरिंग दिस शॉर्ट क्लोथ्स यू नो विथ ट्यूब टॉप्स एंड एवरीथिंग एंड थ्रू आउट द फिल्म यू नो वी कॉन्स्टेंटली फाइटिंग विथ ईच अदर यू नो इज लाइक दिस नॉट द कैन ऑफ वूमन यू नो यू ऑलवेज हाफ ड्रेस्ड एंड आई एम लाइक एक्सक्यूज मी लुक एट द कैन ऑफ मैन यू आर दिस नॉट द कैन ऑफ मैन आई वॉन्ट टू मै गेट मैरिड टू सो इट्स बेसिकली अ वेरी लाइट हार्टेड कॉमेडी फिल्म where uh, you know the audience uh, it's like you just leave all your worries behind come and watch the film and you most probably like it or you'd hate it or you'd find nothing in it you know it's either you love the film or you'd find it uh, you wouldn't like the film so yeah and normally those kind of films you don't really get to see these days you know these days you'd see more of arty films more of hardcore other crossover films that you have these days you don't really get to see those kind of uh, films you know which were made in the 70s and the Uh, especially in the mid 70s so wawa ram ji is that kind of a film um the character you play aapka jo kirdar hai kya aap usse identify karti ho kis hat tak aapki tarah hai absolutely uh, wawa ram ji's character like i've done hamoge aapke and then i'm doing chal and then wawa ram ji but wawa ram ji is the character which i can ident- identify the maximum because it's positively british you know she's she's a hardcore british kid but she's very positively crat- uh, british there's no malice in her she doesn't she's not cunning she's just a normal funky college going kid you know who's spoiled by her parents you know the normal kind of kids that you see they always bullying everybody around them so that's the kind of uh, and i definitely identify a lot with it you know because uh, in real life also uh, this word positively british is not my it's not phrased by me it was phrased by a journalist who once said that to me he said uh, you are british so i asked him i said uh, in a negative or a positive man he said you're positively british so yeah i do identify a lot with that character तो ये साल आपके लिए वैसे काफी इम्पोर्टेंट है क्योंकि बाबा राम जी एंड जाल जाल तो बी आउट एनी टाइम नाउ जाल में लेकिन अभी रिलीज नहीं हो रही है इसके बारे में आप हमें जाल इज जस्ट अनफॉर्चुनेटली जाल इज बीन पोस्टपोन बाय अ मंथ और टू बिकॉज फर्स्ट बी वेटिंग फॉर हीरो and then there's this ongoing distributor strike that is going on otherwise jaal should have hit the theaters by around 9th of may but now it will come around 16th or whatever but uh, it should uh, definitely hit the theaters in a month so yeah first jaal is coming then there'll be uh, baba ram ji followed in another 3 4 months and uh, then i've done um, there is um, aan i've done a guest appearance song in aan so the aan should be out in august and uh, aan is uh, again a very uh, it's it's a hard hitting film you know so there's just uh, very interesting number which is choreographed by uh, ganesh acharya so we've spent a lot of uh, we've really given in a lot it's like um, it's actually an item number what you say so yeah you should see a lot more of me in the next 6 months so kya are you open to item number no 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 this is like you know it's not uh, see uh, it's become a trend to have an item number in every film so i I really don't want to take names but there have been films which have been released in recent times which I've been offered item numbers uh because they are posit- you know they're normally looking at new girls now I think the old uh, lot of uh, heroines I'm sorry the previous lot of, they've all been exhausted in item numbers so now they pos- you know they're looking at girls who come from the new lot of girls to do uh, and uh, it's never like that but uh, this is definitely something different not because I've done it but because um because i have agreed to do it theek hai hum jaal ke bare mein bhi thoda baat karenge isme aap kis kism ki character play karte hain isme aapki kahan where do you fit in the story in jaal it's uh, uh, i know normally people have the attitude that what are you doing in jaal you know because you have a, a huge star cast there's tabu in the film there's uh, sunny deol in the film and normally you don't have much to do in uh, you know sunny deol films but uh, jaal is going to be a surprise packet and 
trust me, I'm not the type who'll shoot my mouth off just for the heck of shooting it off. Jal is a film, firstly, it's, it's, a, it's a love story. I mean, uh, you've just had Hero, which was the love story again, but then uh, after a long time, you have Hero and Jal, which is a love story. Jal is a love story with a um, thriller angle to it. Plus, there is, uh, the, of course, the terrorist uh, angle to it. But it's essentially a triangle where um, I play of, uh, uh, there is just basic three characters of the film, Sunny, Tabu and me. And they, I mean, you can just count the amount of characters that are there in the film and the film revolves around these three characters. So uh, it's, it, I hope it's going to be, a, I think it's going to be a good film. And of course, the rest depends on the audience. You just can't beat them, so. Mani, we are talking about six months. So what are you going to tell us about the films that have released and about how you've made an appearance in Bollywood? What do you think you'd want to tell us then? I think I would want to tell you uh, the kind of, uh, not the kind of impact I have uh, created in Bollywood, but the, kind, uh, but the kind of films that I would sign up later on. Because, uh, you know, uh, I think your work should talk for yourself and uh, even in this last, uh, you know, Hamo Gai Aapke released a year back and uh, it's, there has been a gap of one year, which is not actually an abnormal amount of time because I think all newcomers go through this one year gap, you know, but uh, the only reason why um, I've never signed up to many films is because uh, either you sign up great films or you wait because you have that kind of confidence in yourself. I have that kind of confidence that Jal is a good film and you just wait instead of signing up films where you have one song and one scene, you know. Uh, like I keep saying, I'd hate to be a prop in a film. Uh, how did you get that film and are you satisfied with the way it turned out for you? How did I get the film? Well, uh, Ratanji was looking for a new girl and uh, someone had suggested my name to him. So I got a call from Venus and I went and met him. And uh, I remember uh, I went and met Ratanji and uh, he just kept... Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, Venus, how uh, aapke Ratanji was looking for a new girl and uh, opposite Fardeen and... Uh, uh, I think someone had mentioned my name to him, so I, he was looking at a lot of girls at that point of time and I got a call from Venus and uh, I remember I went and met uh, Ratanji and uh, again, you know, uh, you know, it happened both the times, whether it was Jal or uh, Venus film, Hamo Gai Aapke or Vava Ramji. Earlier, Vava Ramji, not many people know this, but the girl was supposed to be this very Benji kind of a girl. You know, she was supposed to be the one who was in uh, pigtails and glasses. And um, uh, when I went to meet Ramanji, he, he narrated the script to me. And one day, suddenly he called me and he said, listen, I want to talk to you. So I said, okay. And my outfits had, you know, started getting ready and everything. And he called me up and he said, uh, uh, I'm changing the script. So I said, what do you mean? He said, you're going to become the vibrant one now. You're going to be the one who's going to bust around in the film. And we are going to switch role. So it has always happened to me that, you know, I have gone and met a, ma a filmmaker and uh, uh, I basically talk a lot. So they've kept staring at me for five, ten minutes and they said, okay. It happened, I'm not exaggerating, it happened in, uh, during the time of Hamokai Aapke, it happened during the time of uh, Jal and uh, it happened during the time of Baba Ramji where the entire casting was shifted around, you know. So, uh, so it has always happened like that with me. In fact, I remember when I went to Hamo, for Hamo Gai Aapke and when Ratanji said, um, he doesn't talk much, you know. So he said, uh, okay, um, come and collect your uh, check tomorrow. So I looked at him and I said, you don't want a screen test? And he said, no. So I've always had that kind of thing. So it's it's been, uh, you know, like people keep asking me, do you ever want to get into films or what are your plans? I always say that I never wanted to get into films, but now that it has happened, you know, I really want to do well. I don't want, that's most probably people often ask me why you haven't signed up so many films, you know. Uh, either people do it out of, uh, you know, insecurity. Sometimes, you know, your first film doesn't do well, so you do it out of insecurity. For sometimes your films do well and you just say, I want to be choosy, whichever way you look at it, you know. But I uh, always felt that I never wanted to become an actress. And since I've become, I don't want to be, you know, I just want, I don't want to stand in one frame at one corner. 
I really want to give it a lot. So therefore, if my first film hasn't done well, I just don't want to go and sign up everything that comes my way. Whether, uh, uh, now you'd ask me, why did you do a song in Aan then? But you know, I know that sometimes one song is equivalent to five mediocre films. And uh, I know that what, what, I know that what that song is all about. So I know that when it hits the screen, it's going to be a blast. So I always believe in what I do and I think that's the most important thing. So in your film career, there was a lot of unplanned things. So do you say that the luck has... Definitely, luck plays the important... Uh, luck is the most important factor, in, uh, especially when you want to get into films. You know, you can have money. Money can come to you. Fame is not written in everybody's... Uh, uh, you know, you know, in every person's life, fame is not written. So for that, it is only luck. Sometimes, you know, there are girls who are prettier than us, who are more, most probably more talented than us, much more deserving than us, but they are not there where we are. And similarly, most probably, you know, we deserve to be in better places, but, you know, it takes time. So you just can't, you know, you can't beat your luck. You can't race ahead of it. So there's a time for everything. There's, you, you, one should not rush against time. This is... Um one of my last questions. I want yeah. to ask you that today, many sare, you know, younger women are getting into films. And films yeah. Like so, how do you think ki, you know you will like shine above the rest? How do you think you'll mark your own identity? Younger women in, st in terms of uh, fresh faces. Lot of but we are the new lot of, see, you can't mark one film old, you can't say, like for instance, all the new girls that have come in now, we are still newcomers. You know, we've not, doing one film doesn't make you, uh, 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 an, uh, you know, you're still rated among the new lot of girls because there's so many girls that have come in now and there's such fierce competition right now that uh, today if anybody is looking at the new lot of girls, you know, the list of the girls that have had releases in the last one year, they always looked at. So, uh, you know, films take time. You just can't say one film. For instance, you know, girls have come in where they've had the biggest hits of the year and they've had amazing hits and yet somehow they've got gone drifted away. You know, they've become older quickly. And there are girls like, uh, say, Karishma, you know, who's survived for such a long time and yet even today she looks so fresh. You know, you can't just take it away from her. So... And yet there are girls who've come in at her time who've just gone looking something totally haywire today. So, it's, it, uh, you know, girls like us who've come in in the last one year, we're still rated among the new lot of girls that have come in. It's not that bad. My favourite film is uh, Mother India. And I love Gone with the Wind. I've seen that and uh, I love Mother India. Why? Because, and if you ask me what kind of a role I would play, that's the kind of role. You know, there's a lot of sadness in the film. There's a lot of phases that you go through. She goes through, Nargis, she goes through in the film. And uh, that kind of, um, that kind of pathos, you know, that kind of sadness which she shows, that's the kind of film that I would play. You know, a lot of people say I talk, I, I'll do it once more. Mm. Your favourite film? Mother India. No, my favourite film. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, good, done. Okay. So, we'll start with your favourite film. Uh, my favourite film is Mother India. Uh, which film do you watch over and over and why? If I tell you, you'll start laughing, but it's Hera Fairy. <laughs> I watch Hera Fairy over and over and over again. I ca I've lost count of the times I've watched it because... It's the only film, it's one of those rare comedy films which I've seen, which actually makes you laugh. And it just doesn't bore you. Uh, which film did you ever bunk college or school to see? The film I bunked college to see... Um, gee, I don't remember. Which <laughs> uh, si film do you want to cry? Mother India. Uh, which film makes you cry? The film that makes me cry <clears throat> over and over again is Masu. I have cried buckets on that. That uh, uh, Chugal Hansraj, the way he has played the character, it's so touching. It just, it just leaves some certain kind of pain in you, you know. That's the film I've cried over and over again. If you could play any one character in any film, which one would it be and why? Yeah. 
Nargis Ji's role in uh, Mother India. If I could play. If I could play one role, uh, the role that I'd love to play is uh, Nargis Ji's role in Mother India. You know, there's so much of pain. There's, there are these various phases that she goes through. There's so much that, uh, you know, she, she shows through her eyes, you know, there's just, she doesn't talk much in the film, but the way she expresses her grief, you know, especially the last sequence, it's amazing. That's the film that I would love to do.